Welcome to Rise and Shine Daily Business Tech Boost with me, Charlie Latham. If you're a small business owner looking to simplify technology and get real, actionable advice from someone with 35 years of IT experience, you're in the right place. Every episode, I'll dive into tools and systems like email, CRM, marketing and tracking, and break them down into bite-sized tips you can use right away. Your time is valuable, so let's get straight to the point. It's time to work smarter, not harder. Rise and shine. It's your daily dose of business tech information with me, Charlie Latham. Episode number 437 today, and we are going to be talking about delegating access to your Google Workspace email account. A reminder from yesterday's podcast, the reason you want to be able to delegate access is if you have someone to be able to log in and manage your email on your behalf, but you don't want them to log into your full Google account. By letting them log into your full Google account, if you've got two-factor verification on, that's a problem because you need to be available so that they can get access to um, the, the codes to be able to log in. And you're also giving them access to the whole of your Google account, not just your email. So delegating access is the important thing here. So let's switch over to the screen share and we're going to go to our ad admin account. Now there's two things we need to do with when we're delegating access to a user's email account. The user can actually delegate the access in Google but we need to make sure that the admin settings are set up so that they can do that delegation themselves. In your admin account, you need to log in with your administrator account, admin.google.com. Make sure that the user has the access to be able to do this. I could go through the menus and find the settings, but what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the search bar here and we're just going to type in the word delegate. And you'll see here we've got mail delegation comes up. It's got the little uh, Gmail icon. Click on that. And that puts us into uh, Google Workspace settings for Gmail user settings. That's where we want to be. We need to come down. It's here somewhere. Mail delegation right here. Mail delegation. Let users delegate access to other users in the domain. Now, this may be turned off. Click on it to bring it open. This may be turned off. If it is turned off, you can check it to say let users access, delegate access to their mailbox to, let me try that again. Let users delegate access to their mailbox to other users in the domain. <clears throat> you can allow users to customize this setting. You can show the account owner and the delegate who sent the email, you can show the account owner only. Um, this is the default. And then what this does is it says that this is sent by so-and-so and sent by so-and-so on behalf of. You can allow users to grant them at mailbox access to a Google group. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. There would be times that you do it, but I would leave that as set off. Once you've made the changes, you click the save button at the bottom here. I'm just going to set it back to what it was. Click the save button. And that is all you need to do. You only ever need to do this once in your admin panel and the rest is done in the user's account. Let's go across to the user account. To get to the user account, you go to gmail.com or mail.google.com. Log in with your Google Workspace account. Again, this will all be blurred out. This is my older account. So there's a lot of older emails in here. Go to the settings icon, which is on the top, at the top, far right, go a couple of, couple of icons to the left, click on settings, see all settings and go to Accounts tab here. Under the Accounts tab, you scroll down to where you've got Grant Access to your account. You can say Add another account here. So this is, this is where you delegate the account, the access. So click Add Access to Account. 
drag that down, wait till it comes up. It's going to ask me to verify that it's me. Just bear with me. So this is two-factor authentication, and this is why you um, want to – I've just got my phone here so that I can do this – why you want to actually do the delegation on, on, on the email account so that you don't have to do this every time someone tries to access your email. Once you've done this – Okay, so specify a Google account holder to access your account. Uh, this Google, this user, this person will be able to sign into your account to read, delete, and send emails and edit Gmail settings on your behalf. They will not be able to modify your Google account settings nor change your password. So in this case, I'm going to try, this is a Google account. Let's see if I can do it with a Gmail account because that's a Google account. Okay, and this is why I wanted to do this. So this is trying to give someone outside of my Google Workspace organization access. They can't have access. It says here you can only grant access to Google accounts in the same Google Workspace organization. So you, the users do need to have a license within your Google account. Uh, who's got it? Is it? I think I can do it here. Okay, so I've put in one of the users on my account. It's asking me or it's telling me that I'm about to grant that user access to my email. You'll be able to re revoke this later. In order to complete this process, you need to send a confirmation email to the user to accept access. After accepting access to the account, they'll be able to open your account. So... Uh, blah 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 can access your mail using HTTPS only that's fine send an email grant access all right so sent email there what we're going to do is we're going to open Gail's account here Now it's asking me to verify that they've got access. Yeah. Oh, right. I have to go and get it. So I'm going to pause this video and we will be back in a moment. So what we have to do is go and log into the user's account that we've uh, delegated access to, get them to confirm that they've got access to our account or that, that, the, that they accept that they will manage our account on our behalf. That takes a little bit. I have just sort of skipped over that part of it for now. And it's, let's see, it says it's pending here. If I refresh that screen because I did just accept it. We scroll down. Oh, we've got to go to there we go. We've got Gail has accepted the uh the the access. Now I am already logged in as Gail here. So I'm gonna open up Gail's account. We're going to see how that looks. I think I can do that. So the way that that looks, once Gail logs into her account, um, again, this will all be blurred out. Across here on your, your, your profile area, you click on that, you come down, you see we've got this delegated access here. And if you click on that, that will allow Gail to log in as me to my account. Um, and you'll notice up here in the icon, it says that you're a delegated, you, you've, you're delegated and you're ac accessing my account 
as a delegated user. So Gail gets to log in with her account. She can then log into my account without having to log in again because it's a delegated access and she's got access to my inbox. She can see everything here. She can modify my labels. She can, she can do what she needs to do to make my account work for me. Okay, that was um, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, to remove the uh, delegation, uh, let's just go back. Sorry, I'm just going to finish this off. So this is now back in my settings as me, uh, and you'll see we've got Gail has been accepted to delegate. Uh, she can choose to mark as read, mark a conversation as read when it's opened by others, leave conversation as unread when opened by others. Now, I leave it as unopened um, because I like to check my messages and see what's new when I come in. But if you've got a VA working for you, you might find that it's just easier just to say if, if they've read it, it should show as, uh, as read and then you know what you need to handle while they're not around. And the sender information you can show this information, this address and the person who sent it by sent by, or you can show this address only. So if you don't want it to say sent by Gail on behalf of, just set it to show this address only and it will only ever show your address as the sending address. Uh, there's nothing to save, That's, that is uh, updated automatically. So that is really as difficult as it gets. Let me come back and have a chat. All right, so what we did there was we, we sh I showed you how to set up the admin settings that you only ever have to do once in, in your Google Admin panel so that users can del uh, yeah, delegate their account to others if they want. I, I showed you how you added a, a user to your account so that they could manage your account on your behalf. I, what I didn't show you was how they went through and accepted it. It really is a matter of there's an email, you click on the link, it's all done. And then I showed you how they access your account and how it shows to them as the user. Uh, what else did I have on that one? It's kind of, oh, that's right. The only, the only proviso on it is that if you are delegating access to your Google account, your Google Workspace account, the user has to be within your Google Workspace account account itself the go your google workspace it can't be a another va on another google workspace or a, a gmail account it has to be within your your google workspace which means they need to have a license as well that's the only constraint on it okay what do you guys think do you think that's useful do you think you can see a use for it have you used it have you tried to use it what do you like about it what didn't you like about it i would love to know leave comments wherever you are watching or listening to this video come across to my locals community ask charlieleatham.locals.com and join the conversation there if this video was useful please give it a like and if you haven't already Please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey there. Thanks so much for tuning in to Rise and Shine, your daily business tech boost. I hope today's episode gave you some actionable insights that will make your business tech work smarter for you. If you found value, be sure to subscribe, leave a review and share it with other small business owners who could use a daily boost. For more tips, tools and resources, visit www.askcharlieleatham.com. Until next time, keep rising, keep shining and let's make tech simple together.